the chair now recognizes Mr. Self for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I want to say that uh, my fellow Texan, Mr. Moran, uh, perfectly articulated the five concerns that my uh, citizens have as well, so please take those back. Uh, I want to go to your strategic oversight plan that the three of you signed. Uh, you articulated my two concerns on page 17 and 18 perfectly. One is internal to USAID, one is external, and I want to follow through the U.S. government to the World Bank uh, to Ukraine. Your first uh, quote that I want to have is, uh, following the February 2022 invasion, you ask approval for an expedited process uh, to do your oversight, and the audit will examine the trade-offs inherent in the accelerated procurement practices to determine whether the mission has developed the procedures necessary to safeguard the award process from undue risk and support to your new strategy in Ukraine. Has that happened? That was well over a year ago now. That's an internal question. Sure, so the work um, I think that you're referencing is an ongoing audit um, that we are working on. Our audits are done to very thorough standards, um, and, and we're happy to come and brief you on the status of that. No, but I, don't, I don't think my question is about the audit itself. It's the internal processes that you put in place so that you can measure the risk of your audit, your accelerated audit, versus the risk of, of undue fraud or abuse. Sure. So, so I'm asking about your internal processes, not the audit itself. Yes, yeah, so our internal process, what we've done to respond to um, this new portfolio of work that, that came to, um, to light after the February invasion is to staff up quickly and we are doing that in order to look at the agency, USAID, the agency's expedited procurement. Um, so the, the expedited procurement processes that were approved by the administrator for USAID at the start of the war, which allowed them to reprogram money um, in Ukraine, because USAID was already programming in Ukraine before the invasion. Right. So the expedited procedures are for USAID internally, and then what we as the OIG will do is to assess whether they, they, how well they did that, and did they stick to internal controls uh, and risk mitigation strategies when they repurpose so, that money. So what's your analysis of it? It's been over a year. So some of the funding, um, I think, uh, took longer, um, depending on the amount of money. And so one of our audits, it, it's encompassed in several of our ongoing audits right now, um, in the humanitarian assistance sector, in the energy sector, and in agriculture. So none of those reports have been issued um, to date. They are uh, ongoing. Some are planned. But again, you're talking about the audits themselves. Uh, please assure yeah. me that the internal processes within AID have been put in place for your accelerated process to, uh, to, to make sure that this is done correctly. I think two things are sort of being conflated here. One is the U.S. aid, the agency's accelerated procurement actions, and then the second is USAID IG's oversight of those. And what we are doing as USAID OIG but is looking at those to make sure that they were done um, according to USAID's internal uh, plans Again, and procedures. Asked, were they? That's the assurance I'm looking for. So as of right now, it's over I, I, a year. Yes, as of right now, um, the, that work is not complete. So unfortunately, I can't give you an assurance today without that work being complete. But as soon as it is, we're happy to, to do that. OK, I have one minute left. Let's talk about the World Bank. Uh, your very next paragraph was perfect. Um, multinational uh, institutions like the World Bank, where U.S. donations will merge with, with funding streams <clears throat> from other international donors has the potential to reduce transparency and oversight of your uh, contributions. Um, have you assure me that the World Bank, because I'm very concerned, because the World Bank is uh, independent of U.S. government. So we are sending our contributions through the World Bank, I understand. They are then merged with other donations to Ukraine. Have you audited the World Bank? 
So to be clear, the USAID OIG doesn't have jurisdiction or authority to audit the World Bank, okay. but we have access to all of those reports that are being provided to USAID, the agency, and as an independent monitor and experts, we will we are assessing those reports that they as they come in. And if we see indicators of fraud that would warrant a deeper dive from an independent um, perspective that our agency provides, we will do that deeper dive. To date, we have not seen any significant issues like that. Okay, I don't have time to get into it. I would also like uh, for you to look at the uh, the uh, deep relationships between Deloitte and the World Bank, um, uh, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman yields back.